how salt affects your diabetes. Sugar is the main culprit in diabetes, which patients are told to avoid. Its evil twin, salt, also has a role in diabetes. Although salt does not affect blood sugar directly, excess salt has implications for your overall condition. Sugar and Diabetes If you are diabetic, your body cannot use sugar properly. If you eat carbohydrate foods, it is broken down into sugar molecules before going into the bloodstream. Sugar molecules meet insulin which helps transport glucose from the blood to the body's cells. Diabetes hinders the production of insulin. Therefore, glucose remains in the bloodstream. Salt and Diabetes According to the American Diabetes Association, patients with diabetes are at increased risk of developing hypertension. This is because excess sodium in your diet increases your blood pressure. Common table salt is made from 40% sodium. This is an essential mineral that your body uses in small amounts to maintain fluid balance. Controlling your blood pressure is important if you are diabetic. If you are hypertensive diabetic, you are at high risk of developing coronary heart disease or an enlarged heart. Furthermore, high salt intake plays a role in the high mortality rates among diabetics. Investigations are still investigating details about the mechanism of action. Control and Prevention of Hypertension in Diabetes Control of diabetic hypertension involves the use of prescription medications and some lifestyle changes. Prevention includes following an appropriate diabetes meal plan and limiting your salt intake to 1,500 mg per day. Of course, managing other existing conditions is additionally important. Low Salt Options for Diabetes It is a good idea to read the nutritional labels before buying packaged foods. This helps determine the sodium content and keep track of your sodium intake per serving. The foods with the highest amounts of sodium are canned goods, frozen meals, pickled foods, and processed meats. Always choose those with low sodium and salt-free foods. Instead of table salt, use spices and herbs to add flavor to your food. Eat plenty of fresh vegetables and fruits instead of canned varieties that contain various additives. Whole grains like pasta, wheat bread, and brown rice are also good options. However, even if they are low in sodium, they do contain carbohydrates, so you should control your blood sugar when eating these foods.